PlayStation Now worth it? Stay tuned to find out. Scar TV. Hey everyone, Scar here helping you game smart. If you're new here to the channel, I do videos like this where I help you game smarter by finding you ways to save money gaming. Hit that subscribe button. PlayStation Now is an app on your phone, PC, and or some TVs. It is an app that allows you to stream games on demand rather than download them, then play them. That's where it differs from say something like Xbox Games of Gold through like a cloud-based gaming system. PlayStation Now has over 650 games as of this recording. As you probably will see somewhere here, I'll have like a little screen of me kind of scrolling through the options of games that there are that there are on the platform. It has a three-tier monthly system of subscriptions. There's a base one month model where you pay $20 a month. There is a three month model where you pay $44.99 a month. And then I only found it on PC. I couldn't find it on the actual PlayStation, but there's a one year model where you pay $100 and you have the whole year. The other thing too is because it's a streaming service, you have to have a constant internet connection, which they recommend you using a wired connection to your PS4, just on the fact that with Wi-Fi, the signal kind of drops in and out in strength. So wire it is more consistent therefore then your quality of your stream of your game may not drop um, the other thing too about playstation now is that it's a little pricier than your other games but the benefit is that you probably have you know 500 plus more games on this on the actual library of games to play on demand there are various playstation exclusive games whereas there is also a vast library of different third-party games as well. Also, there is a free trial, so if you're unsure if you want to subscribe, there's a seven-day free trial, but after that seven days, it automatically renews, so you just you can try it out, but then make sure you cancel it if you don't want to renew it, because I think it will renew automatically at the one-month trial. I didn't actually have a PlayStation Now account at this current time. I had one in the past. It was okay. I didn't have it connected to the internet, so I was losing like quality. It's as if like you were watching a video and the video kind of like buffered down a quality level. That's kind of what happens during you playing a game if the internet drops out. But all in all, it is a pretty good streaming service if you have the extra cash lying around. Like I said, you get over 650 plus games and it range in anywhere from PS2, PS3, PS4. Their benefit too is you can just do it all on your PS4 and not have to worry about finding your PS2, your PS3, and then finding your games and hooking that all up. So it's a little bit of a convenience factor. I would also recommend if you are going to invest your, a lot of money into this, I would invest the hundred dollars or three months of uh, time into it just for the fact that then you save money um, just because twenty dollars is a lot. Forty four ninety nine is not terrible. It's a little bit pricier than like Xbox games of gold, but in all in all, you'll save fifteen dollars. And if you continue at least for three months or a year, you'll overall save money and therefore actually. But I would recommend at least you try it out. See if you like it. Um, let me know if you did try it out down in the comments below. If you have tried it out, let me know what you're playing. Also, you know, if you're new to the channel, like I said before, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting more videos like this going over other services and I will catch you in the next video. Logging out.